Hey guys, Damien here from DIY Electronics. Um, so regardless of use case, we always want our 3D prints to be pretty much as strong as possible. But unfortunately, I see most people turning to in full percentage to get this done and basically wasting filament. So what we're going to show you in this video is how to print this awesome big Totodile model. Really, really strong model with just 130 grams of filament. Okay, so I have the Totodile model. I got this off uh, Thingiverse. Um, we will leave a link in the description in case someone wants to print it out themselves. So for cinematic purposes, we're going to scale this up by 300%. Nice big model. And we're going to be focusing on two settings for this specific video besides my usual slicer settings. We're going to be looking at outline perimeter shells and infill percentage. So for the first version, the un uneconomical version, we're going to go for 40% for strength. And we're going to go for one outline perimeter shell and three top solid layers should be fine. Let's see how much plastic simplifier thinks we're going to use. 321.63 grams. So that's like one third of a roll. Definitely not ideal. We're going to now do a more economical version. I'm going to go for just 6% in full. And we're going to move to three outline perimeter shells. And I'm going to do four top solid layers. And let's see how much filament this is going to use. Only 130 grams. Much better. The reason I went for four top solid layers is obviously there's less infill to support the model near the top and there are some overhangs so the four top solid layers should ensure that it's still nice and neat when it gets to the top of the print um, and we'll see what the results like let's go and print this out so for the purpose of this video i uh, wanted to print out one of the heavier models that was 40 uh, percent infill and then obviously one of the six percent infill with the three outline perimeter shells but I couldn't bring myself to waste uh, that much filament. So I printed the base levels and this is quite strong. But as you can see, with one outline perimeter shell, certain parts of the print actually aren't even that strong. Uh, whereas, you know, these feet on the three outline perimeter shells are a lot more, more hardy. Guys, it's important to take into account use case, obviously, when you know, selecting infill uh, percentage and outline perimeter shells. And to be honest, for this Totodile model, I could have probably got away with using absolutely no infill, but I wanted to make sure that this bad boy was strong enough to withstand whatever we threw at him. And we also have some other scenes that we're going to cut to um, showing you some other use cases and how you can also save filament um, with the various different applications. So guys, as we've said, obviously use case um, is extremely important when knowing how much infill to use and how strong your print actually needs to be. Uh, but there are actually some cases where you don't need any infill whatsoever. So this is a good example. We've got a lovely little bonsai tree here. We've printed this in vase mode, uh, 0.8 millimeter nozzle, so it's nice and thick. And this is strong absolutely strong enough to um, withhold this plant and, and do the trick. We also have a, a very popular print, the Deadpool Bust. What we've done here is we've used Simplify 3D and we've actually um, made two processes. We've got one process for the base and uh, the base has some infill to give it some stability and um, strength. And then on the top for the bust, we uh, actually have no infill. Um, and yeah, three outline perimeter shells and this is really strong. So we have another sneaky surprise use case here. This is TPU. Uh, with about only 2% infill and two outline perimeter shells. And this is pretty much unbreakable. Jared, yeah. try break this. Come on, dude. Try break it. Not eat it. No. Unbreakable. <laughs> 